welcome back students hope you all are doing well keeping good health i am chandrashekar utkuri upon the request of many students of r22 batch i am going to let you know the very important and one short questions and the important concepts for all the courses of engineering under j to h for r22 regulation in today's video i have come up with a very important concepts for the course befa the business economics and financial analysis under j to h for r22 regulation which is a common course for all branches of engineering hope you all have taken uh, your preparations well mannered way and please cross check whether these questions whether you have covered in your preparations or not if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon and comment for if any course you are looking for for the end examination hope you are going to prepare all these questions in a well mannered way the first and the foremost unit i would like to let you all know is the unit 1 the unit 1 is bit lengthy and it's all about theory i am going to let you know the very important units and the scoring units which you are supposed to work out at the end of video please do not skip it and try to share it immediately with your friends and ask them to subscribe the first and the foremost unit i can give you is the phases of a business cycle and the discuss the nature and the scope of business economics as well as explain the responsibilities and functions in business economics is a topmost and one shot question dear students hope you all know the question paper pattern it consists of two parts the part a as well as part b the part a is all about the short questions a uh, 10 questions will be asked where you are going to get two questions from every unit and a one mark for every question a 10 marks in part a have not specifically mentioned the short questions here you are supposed to be thorough with each and every concept which i have highlighted here and you are supposed to work out short and long together to score a better mark as it is a theory subject i have uploaded a video on how to write a theory paper as well as how to write a mathematical paper for any stream of engineering or any course i mean any uh, university next i would like to let you know that long questions are from second question to the 11th question and the each unit you are going to get two questions and you are going to get sub questions i mean 2 ab or 3 ab which belongs to unit 1 now i have told you the 2 a question that is all about the phases discuss the nature as well as uh, scope of business economics and the responsibilities and functions and the question may be in form of this also explain the various types of business entities maybe the short question discuss inflation maybe the short question and the economic impact may be also short question here related to inflation and explain the non conventional sources of finance may be a five mark question this time from this part you are going to get the question number 1 as well as 2 a b dear students this time later i am going to let you know the 3 ab as well as the second question describe the features of joint stock company explain different sources of capital for a company and differences between the positive and normative approaches in economics i have told you in the earlier video lectures when i was talking about the 2 1 as well as 1 1 and 1 2 when you are going to get the differences you are going to make a tabular column and write in point wise the theory paper you are not going to score better mark until and unless you write very neatly and using two set of pens blue as well as black and underline the important points in pencil dear students macroeconomic versus microeconomics is also set up the one of the top most question this time which may occur in 3a discuss the relevance of decision making in economics explain the concepts related to national income maybe the short question discuss the theory of firm maybe also a short question from this part you are going to get 3ab as well as the second question whereas every unit you are going to get 12 mark stay tuned i am going to let you know the very important units which you are supposed to prepare later i have highlighted here the unit one you are supposed to be thorough with the concept of the basic economic and primary focus on the definitions and theoretical concepts make sure that your handwriting should be neat and legible and do not strike off unwantedly in the answer booklet write very neatly later let's jump into the second unit the second unit is very short and sweet and you are supposed to work out the explain the concept of elasticity of demand is set up the topmost question 
discuss the factors influencing elasticity and its types related to the price income cross may be the four a question this time in the question paper dear students describe the assumptions and the implications of cross elasticity of demand related to elasticity of demand you are supposed to work out even the loss of demand and supply may be also one of the short and long question this time discuss the law of demand and law of supply may be also a short question explain the determinants and the usefulness of the law of supply in decision making from this part you are going to get the short question that is a number three as well as 4a b from b this questions dear students later the 5a b is demand forecasting define supply function and the characteristics of demand forecasting explain the need and methods of demand forecasting as well as complementary goods as well as subtitles this is set with a 5a b question as well as the fourth question in your question paper ensure that i am going to work out for you all the question paper pattern or we'll be having like a pre-final examination pattern if you comment that i'm going to prepare a sample question paper for 60 marks for you and i'm going to upload for you a day before the exam or a two days before the exam so that you can check your level of perfectness in preparations for your end examination and go through that questions like same like j into h pattern i'm going to work out for you from this time if you comment if you are looking for the pre-final examination paper type please do comment in the comment section and do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel later we'll look into the third unit it's all about defined pricing and its types discuss the product life cycle is said the top most question this time dear students describe the perfect competition and its feature maybe the short question and explain the law of diminishing returns related to assumptions and the definition of monopoly maybe the short question perfect versus monopolistic competition features the differences among them is said to the one of the top most question this time which may occur in unit 3 question production analysis factor the functions and its types and one and two variable is said to the long question this time which may occur in the question paper damn should this time dear students later i am going to work out for the next question from the unit 3 is all about the discuss written to the scale is a short question and the differences between the short run and the long run cost function is set with a long question this time and they explain the cost volume profit analysis may be also the short as well as the long question from unit 3 do not skip any part dear students if you want to score 12 out of 12 you need to be perfect and thorough with as r22 paper pattern is just they are going to cover each and everything it doesn't mean that this may come in this question the upper one and the lower one may come in the above question also vice versa you are supposed to write if the question number is 2ab or 3ab you are supposed to write entire 2ab 100% or 3ab 100% dear students do not write 2a and do not write 3b that is waste of time and you are going to get mark only either for 2a or 3b these all are the important questions like cost volume profit analysis is said to be one of the top most question i can give you this time make and ensure that the first three units you are supposed to be thorough with that i am going to let you know the unit four now the basic accounting concepts describe the accounting and its types and discuss double entry is a very important question related to the pros and cons and maintaining books of accounts financial statement elements from this part you are going to get one question for sure in form of short as well as long also dear students frail balance preparation and the final accounts is also set up the topmost question this may be the first question in the fourth unit and a b part also and the final statements and the ratios coming to this you are supposed to be thorough with the problems if you are looking at the theory you are supposed to read only one two three and from the fourth unit the problem may occur if you did not prepare the problem that lose that you may be losing the mark here the financial statements and the ratios related to it rule of maintaining books ledger accounts and the account equation is said to be the top most and gunshot question which may be the short as well as long dear students defend capital expenditure balance sheet and the profit and loss account may be also one of the top most and gun short question and i'm highlighted here with the problems from this unit you are supposed to thorough with the problems dear students failing which if a problem occurs 
or your preparation level goes to nil. So make ensure that if you are very poor at the problem solving skills, ensure that you are supposed to read one, two, three, and I'm going to let the order of sequence in how you are supposed to work out. Later, I'm going to give you the unit five questions. It's all about ratio analysis and its types, importance and concepts, the short and long question in 10A, B, discuss net worth, cash flow versus fund flow analysis, turnover ratios, debt equity ratio, liquidity ratio, as well as key ratios. Any ratio may be asked here. That's the reason I have highlighted here, dear students. That may be a one mark question or that may be a five mark question. If it is a one mark question, they are going to ask only one ratio to define. And if it is a five mark question, they may be asking you the differences among any of these ratios, leverage ratio analysis and interpretation and the problems related to it is set with a gunshot question this time even in the fifth unit you are going to get the problems dear students ensure that the unit 4 and unit 5 is all about the problem do not forget to carry your calculator and do not forget to carry all your stationery to the end examination explain the types of profitability ratios and their importance is set with the topmost and gunshot question discuss solvency ratios and funds from operations these all are set with the topmost questions and the concepts for the unit 5 of business economics and financial analysis under j into h for r22 regulation and ensure that the problems are very highlighted here the unit 4 and unit 5 you will be getting the problems damn sure dear students now if a student is looking to clear this course he need to clear this course with 40 mark i mean the i'm not talking about the internal for example you want to pass with a 40 mark here you need to be thorough with unit one i mean first you can read unit two dear students there is no interlink between one unit to the other unit here you might have prepared these all units for the mid examination one please do revise first the first mid examination unit such as unit two later unit one it's all about theory and later unit three if you are looking to pass and if you are an average student if you want to score good marks you are supposed to throw even with the fourth unit also as well as the fifth unit also along with the problems if not you can go with unit one unit two and unit three this is how you are supposed to prepare and if you haven't gone through the video on how to write a theory paper to score a better marks it is uploaded and pinned in my youtube channel please go through it if you haven't subscribed please do it later i'm going to give you certain examination point tips here is please do focus on understanding and able to explain the theoretical concepts definitions in the course business economics and financial analysis use two set of pens i told black pen used for the main headings and the blue ink used for the write-up part and the underlining part to be done with the pencil only problems related to accounting financial analysis is said to be the very important question if you want you can go through my previous earlier videos of r18 and compare the syllabus or you can compare the syllabus of r18 with the previous year question papers and make sure that you are going to get any of the questions from those i request and i repeat you all to clear all the subjects in the first attempt i'm going to work out for you all the pre-final examination pattern question paper if you are going to like subscribe as well as comment so that you will be getting an idea of if the question paper is just like the paper which i am going to make for you all how many marks you will be scoring you will be knowing it dear students hope you are going to subscribe to my channel as well as share like and comment if you are looking for any other course this is your chandrasekhar uchukuri signing off for today thank you